Hi, I'm Will Nelson, and I'm here to show you how to have some fun and get something done with your exercise ball. And there's so much fun we can have with the exercise ball. But you probably don't want me to spin it here endlessly. You want to see something, so let's see something. I'm going to put it down on the floor, and this one is really soft, so I don't have to use a lot of balance and coordination. And the first thing I want to do is I want to get the ball right in front of me, and I just want to roll up on it, just like this. Just easy, just easy. Now I'll turn the other way so you can see. Now I make one leg longer than the other, just like that, the hip. I'm keeping my elbows in a fixed position, but I'm moving just like that and relax. All right, let me face you again. So now you know what my backside's doing, right? So let's talk about the front side. I can come up like this gently, get a nice arch in my back, but it's supported. I'm not holding my back in free space. And with my elbows in this fixed position, I could be like this for quite some time. And there's so much more we can do. I can lower and raise right here. It's all in my shoulders. Taking my time. I can turn my neck a little bit. Now watch. I'm moving my neck gently from side to side. Everything else is fixed. I'm just rolling the neck forward. But because the shoulders are fixed, I'm getting a lot of movement. So you have to learn how to fix parts of your body in place so you can move other parts because that's youth. Youth is each part of the body can move independently of what it's attached to. And the ball is a great way for you to sustain that because then you're sustaining the prime of your life. So I can take my hands on the ball like this and just Bring my arms out. I'm going to lower my head. I'll see you in a minute. Just like this. And roll back and forth. I can turn my arms. Be very careful because this is quite a stretch for the shoulders. This is a lot of shoulder stretch right here. Just bring it over. And you'll be doing this back and forth, let's say, just like this and all of a sudden something feels real good and you want to relax into it. I want to relax into this for 20 seconds. So let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. And then come out slow. Anytime you put your body into a pose, and especially the further it is from midline, that's that line right through the center of your body. So the further I move from midline, the more I want to come out of that posture, out of that pose easily. So if I'm in a stretch way out towards you like this I want to come back gently and slowly so I can put my hands here and just and because this ball is not blown up a lot I can grip it and I can get up nice and high and get a nice stretch just like this Back and forth. I can bring a leg forward like that, and I can come down forward. And see, with the ball, your body is supported. I love to get into these poses and just hang out in the pose, just like this, nice and easy. And I can turn my body. I can push off from my foot 
I'm pushing from my heel now and then back down nice and easy and my body wants to just make it up at this point it just wants to do things and I could shoot a hundred videos of this and it would be different every single time because that's the way it is when I use the ball so here comes the other foot forward and I'm just going easy and I'm not seeing how far I can go I just want to own with quality and fluidity the movement that I'm working through. It's not about seeing how far I can go. If I want to do that, I want to be super warmed up and ready to go. And I just did this after a bunch of sitting because that's probably the way you're looking at this video right now after doing a lot of sitting. So here's some ways that you can use it just going forward, rolling up on it. I can come over like this And see, by having the mat like this, I can grab onto the mat and gently pull myself forward and rock my body just like that. And coming out slow, coming out easy now, I can bring myself back. So, so I'm coming out. You may have to keep your feet like this because you can't stretch your feet down like that. But if you can do this or work towards doing this, this is so vitally helpful. So, I'm gonna just roll up, I'm pressing against the ball now, and I'm just rolling up, rolling up, coming back onto my heels, onto my heels, just like that. Just breathing, turning towards you, turning away from you, using the ball to stabilize my body, coming out real slow, unwind, But just breathe, just breathe. A couple of nice deep breaths. Just move your body around a little bit from side to side. This is my body just randomly moving now. It's just wanting to get loosened up. So let me go back into that pose one more time. One more time, I'm pressing against the ball, rolling it up as I roll back, as I roll back. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, all movement counts. Every last bit you do counts. And especially the movement and the positions that you're not in. Like this. And can I just relax? I could be watching TV. I could be watching the computer. When we're out of time it's not so much how hard it is it's that you have to show up to it regularly like every day and you have to know what you're doing and then you'll be ready to enjoy the game of life